Kia ora, CBCers, morena to those of you watching this in uh, the morning, uh, pomari if you're maybe watching this in the evening, so it's good to kind of see you and connect a little bit. Hey Lord, daily encouragement from Psalm 25. Um, I love a couple of lines, uh, well I love this whole Psalm, but there's a couple of lines in the Psalm that I really, really love that I, I want to share. And I thought there's a, there's a cool one to just chew on a little bit um, over the day. So I'm just going to pull out some key verses. So I'm just going to read verse 4 and then verse uh, 8, 9 and 10. Um, this is a great Psalm, so I'd massively encourage you if you're not doing this crazy time reading a psalm uh, every morning i'd encourage you to maybe um start doing it that's it's not hard most of them are real short you can read them in like a minute um but they're just a cool way of expressing uh sometimes how you're feeling david does a good job of, of recording some really powerful human emotions so uh, let me read um just a couple of verses so i'm going to read verse 4 and then 8 through 10 from psalm 25 um, so he's talking about needing to be guided by God, right? And, and you'll see what he says. He says, show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. And I was thinking, man, I know for a lot of you at the moment, it's like, oh my goodness, what is happening with our, our country? We're in, you know, now we're in um, level three. What's happening? Where are we going? And I know there's people whose jobs are in the balance and crazy things happening and I think that's a cool question, right? Um, point out the road for me to follow, God. I'm happy to go wherever you want me to go, but you just need to tell me, make it clear, right? Um, and then he, he says some cool stuff in there, but jumping down to verse 8, he says, uh, The Lord is good and does what is right. Uh, he shows the proper path to those who go astray. Uh, he leads, I'm not implying any of you have gone astray, but you never know. No. Nah. Uh, he leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. I love that last bit, eh? The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness. And I really do pray that you are experiencing God's love and his faithfulness for you during this time. Um, I really do pray that you're not feeling like, you know, isolated, isolated away from the CBC community, away from God, you know. Um, I pray you're feeling that. Uh, well, the bit I just wanted to think on for a second here is at the end of um, of verse 5. So verse 4, remember I read, Show me the right path, O Lord, point out the road for me to follow. And then he says, Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. And this is my favorite little line. All day long I put my hope in you, right? All day long I put my hope in you. Um, and I was turning over this a little bit this morning, thinking about doing this diva, and I was thinking, what am I doing in my day that keeps me coming back to putting my hope in the Lord, right? It's real easy with social media or the news or crazy friends, crazy whanau, to start getting a little bit sidetracked and a bit lost with all the madness going on at the moment. And I was thinking, what are the things that I'm doing, the things that I need to do in my life that, and let me read the verse again, all day long I put my hope in you that brings me back to putting my hope in God. So just a good question to chew on, eh? What things are you doing in your in your life to keep that focus? Um, my wife has heaps of verses pop up on her phone uh, throughout the day just to remind her. She's put verses, you know, as I've said before in sermons, all over her house that are just encouraging and uplifting. What would be some things that you can do? Um, all day long I put my hope in you that, that, that with the madness going on and you're working or you've got kids or you're looking after whatever, but it, that brings you back to your hope is in the Lord, right? Let me just uh, finish with a cool prayer, eh? Yeah, Almighty God, thanks for your love. Thanks that you're not moving. <laughs> thanks that it's always us who move. And it's not like we need to catch you to get our hope back in you, but rather we need to bring our, our wavering thoughts and our ideas that are bouncing around, our worries, our concerns, our whatever, to bring them back and to know that you've got us, to know that you're... Your faithful love, uh, your compassion has us, God. Bless these good people today. Journey with them throughout the day. Help them to know your presence. Yeah. Pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Cool. Kakitano.